Hello. Yes, electoral politics will defeat hope not hates pantomime and circus. That's right. In fact, it's already defeated, isn't it? The cat's well and truly out the bag and it's not going back in, unlike in the past. In the past, they were able to pull off the same stunt time and time again. Unbelievable when you look back. Yeah? I mean, they were able to just pull off the same sabotage all the time and we never cottoned on what was going on. Put it down to personality clashes or whatever. Right, whereas now... Especially with social media, they can't do it no more. Because Joe Owens is here now with the helm, exposing it all, right? I have exposed it the world over. You Richard Spencers and all the rest of them, right? All phonies. It's so obvious. Stevie Wonder would see through it. Right, but Panta uh, Hope Not Hates Pantomime and Circus is on its last legs now. It's becoming that comical. Everyone's laughing at it. No, one, no one's scared of it or embarrassed. But everyone's laughing at it. It's that embarrassing because it's at its end now. There's no more mileage in it. And this is where we pick up the flag of British nationalism and get up and running again. We get back into the uh, white enclaves, the white communities, surrounded by hostile neighbours. Those communities we turn from de facto autonomous areas to de facto autonomous regions. You see, we can turn this around literally overnight. This isn't going to take 10 years with what we're, the knowledge that we've learned or have learned and passed on, right? And I hope a lot more have learned as well, right? The knowledge now we have on how open or hate states like and the state work and what really wins our people over is priceless. And also, also, the enemy attack upon myself, right? A lot of you just don't know what's going on, but there's a lot behind the scenes, right? Trying to entrap me, entice me, right? And they've failed time and time again, and they've shown their hand more and more. They are knackered. Trust me, they are. Once we get our act together, we're turning this around overnight. Yes, overnight. Trust me. We are. Because like I've said, the pantomime and circus, hope not hates pantomime and circus comedy sketch is getting that comical. Everyone's laughing at it now, right? That's, that's how comical and pathetic it now is. It's not scaring people no more. The press don't take any notice of it no more because everyone knows what you're fucking up to. It's so bleeding obvious. But once you get back to electoral politics, the pantomime and circus, the comedy sketch, the confrontation, the arrest, that all goes, as well as the reconquista and all the rest of the stupid baloney, that all goes. And we start then engaging with our people, listening to their problems, issues and tragedies that they face on a daily basis. We're back engaging with our people, real sensible politics. We get to know our people again. They get to know us. They get to respect us. They get to trust us and nothing is going to stop us trust me it's not forget about all this you've got to get 300 mps elected we won't have to get 300 mps elected trust me a handful will do but once we take control of the white enclaves the white communities surrounded by hostile neighbors turn them from de facto autonomous areas to de facto autonomous regions we've got our country back okay thank you oh oh uh, jack sen I'm still waiting for your invitation on Resistance Radio, whatever it's called. Uh, and anyone else that wants to dispute what I say, I'll have an open debate with anyone. Okay, thank you. Our activity must be geared to the winning of power. That still has to be said to some people in our movement, here in America, back in Britain and everywhere else. They are crusaders for the truth but they don't relate it to the necessities of winning power. It cannot be said enough. Power is what must be won. First, just a little bit of power. Then more power. And finally, complete power. Activity geared to anything else is a waste of time.